And if I'm reading the story, where are you looking? At you. Good. Do it. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. Oh, good. And it's Cook City Edwards. I hope she gets you doing that. Mm -hmm. Setting a good example. Mm -hmm. All right. The name of my story is Tanya Graham. Tanya Graham. Okay. And I'm going to read the story from this book. But I have these pictures that I'm going to hold up that kind of tell the story. Once. There was a little girl called Tanya Graham. She lived in a bungalow like this. The trouble was she always wanted to go upstairs to bed. So one day she decided to pull the bungalow to pieces and make a house instead. At last, there were real stairs. You see how she can go up now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going upstairs. But Tanya soon became tired of living in a house, so she pulled it to pieces, and she built a boat with it and sailed to America. In America, she pulled the boat apart again and made a lunar mod module. Then she climbed in and went up on a rocket to Mars. Mars is the next planet past the Earth. Why wow, was that cool? Yeah. I, think I actually have it turned the wrong way. I think it goes like this. Now does it look more like a rocket? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. When she landed in Mars, a strange man came to meet her. And this is what he said. I am the iggly poggly man. Who are you? She told him who she was and that she was looking for a new home. I've made one out of a square, he said. Come and see. They flew on the back of an iggly, poggly bird to a canal. And there on the canal, there was a lovely houseboat. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. Can you see the house here? And then there are the floats. The houseboat floats on the water. How did you make such an exciting home, asked Tanya. Well, I cut down some square Mars trees with a Mars axe, and then I fixed them together with Mars bars. Kind of cool. That's cool. That's a nice area. But those aren't square trees, cried Tanya. And here's another tree. Oh, but they were before they grew into that shape, replied the iggly poggly man. So they look like this, and then they grew into this shape. And that looks more like a real tree, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. It does. Just then, they heard a noise. Now, at the mention of Mars bars, the dreaded wriggly poggly rhinoceros awoke. awoke. Everyone knows how dangerous he is when he is hungry. So Tanya ran as fast as she could all the way back to the lunar module. Lunar module. That was like a little spaceship looking thing, wasn't it? Her yeah. Lunar module. But I can't go back home in that, cried Tanya. And she pulled it to pieces and tried to make it into a module again, or a boat, or a car, or a bird, or anything that would take her home. And look what she made. A rocket. A rocket. Ooh, a rocket. A rocket. A real rocket. So let's see if it takes her home. It simply refused to be made into anything else. And in a flood of tears, Tanya threw herself 
on the ground and she found she was on her own bed. She was at home in her own bungalow and she had been dreaming and she decided she never wanted to go anywhere else again. Tan your brain. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but on every page of our story, there were some shapes. And there's a certain number of shapes on every page. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven shapes. All right, let's look at the next page. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the whole story, there were the same seven shapes. The same seven shapes. And these seven shapes are called, Keith, a tangram puzzle. And it's an ancient Chinese puzzle. Now, China's over in Asia. It's not near the United States. It's on a whole other continent on the other side of the world. <clears throat> My mom used to tell me if I dig a hole, maybe I'd end up in China, all the way to the other side of the world. That's how far China is. Well, it's an ancient Chinese puzzle. Okay? So I have some of these puzzles, and we're going to do some exploring with these puzzles today. But before I give them to you to explore, we're going to talk about them a little bit. I have them all ready in a bag. And I can tell by the way you're sitting that you want some puzzles. Some puzzle pieces. This is a tan, these are tan grand pieces. All right, let's look at some of the shapes that are in your bag. And when you get your bag, the first thing I want you to do is count and make sure you have how many? Seven. Seven. All right, let's see. Here's one of the shapes. Raise your hand if you can tell me what this shape is? A triangle. Brianna? Triangle. Triangle. Thank you for raising your A triangle. All right. Triangle. Let's see. What about this shape? A square. Oh, no. I didn't call it a square. Demanda. A square. A square. I knew you all know all these shapes already. Oh, look. What is this? Another what, Karina? Oh, Another triangle. Okay. What about this one, Mashaya? Uh, is another triangle. Another triangle. Wow. Mm, what about this interesting shape? A uh, raise your hand. Jeremiah. A rhombus. A rhombus. Wow. It's a parallelogram. Rhombus. But you know what? It is a parallelogram. A rhombus is a special parallelogram. Okay. So this, we're going to call it a parallelogram. A rhombus is, actually isn't a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. Is this side the same length as that no. one? No. No. But the two opposite sides are parallel, so it is a parallelogram. Can you say parallelogram? Parallelogram. Oh, I think you've said that word before. All right, here's another shape. What is this one, Emily? Triangle. Triangle. Good. And here's one more. Robin. Triangle. All right. What shape did we have the most of? Who can show me? Raise your hand. Angela. Seven. We had seven, but which shape did we have the most of? Um, triangle. Triangles. I kept saying triangle. All right. Let's see if you can sit in your discovery rectangle. You remember where that is? Where's discovery rectangle? I'm going to move this chair out of the way. Oh. First it's row okay. turns around. Last row stays where they are. You two in the middle. Oh, Cameron, over here. I mean, Jeremiah, over here on that side. And you two go to that side. So we're going to scoot back a little bit. So everybody can see all the shapes. All right, get what you can see, Emily. 